You know, we heard rumors uh, that obviously he didn't work a lot with Derrick James. Do you feel like when Derrick James is trying to make, because I did feel like Derrick came in the last two or three weeks of camp and he'd been working with Juan Guzman mm-hmm. for the last two or three months. You feel like they already had their game plan set up. He's been going with it. So when Derrick tried to adjust it, Mm-mm. that's just what Jermaine how it goes. I've been out <clears throat> in D.C. without my dad mm-hmm. for three or four weeks without my dad. My dad s- sends me a letter on my back <laughs> with yeah. the game plan. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you you arrived at camp with the game plan and all that kind of stuff put in place. So okay. I don't think uh, Juan Guzman would, would have been working on anything. I, it that, was just uh, killing me because Derek, Derek was saying everything right in the corners. Yeah. We heard it at the end of the yeah. fight when they went corner recap or whatever. Yeah. And he wasn't doing it. So yeah. that's why I was just. So this is my thing with the Pacquiao Spence fight. I think we we got a really good example of it last night. I wonder if uh, Errol Spence can catch the rhythm, the speed, and catch to what Manny Pacquiao is doing, and if he can adjust. If he cannot, he will not win the fight. Because you got that. that, 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 that. He's, he's you, but going 100 miles per hour. And more power. And more power. Which is a weekly And match. better fighter. It's a weekly match. And got better resume. And as a politician, and, and, and as a running for president, yeah, yeah, all that. But yeah, you're also not as good looking though. Any better than you? So, but listen, <laughs> people say you guys look alike. That's a what the hell? The it's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I so can, if you look, if you look, said, well, you if you look? if you look, you can see it. If you're looking for it, you can see it. But go ahead. My wife calls it boxer eyes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, listen, scar, listen, scar, listen. Scar listen. Scar yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you adjust, listen. So last night. <clears throat> Jamel was not able to implement anything that, or a lot of what yeah, I can see, see a lot. Yeah, I can he see wasn't it. able to implement a lot of what Derrick James was asking him to, yeah. and that's because he he just could not make the adjustments. His mind and his body could not connect to make those adjustments, and that happens. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a there's a growth period. He's he said last night after the fight, he said, "I've never been through this." And I I I think he was talking about the draw, but I I, I well. I think everyone thought he was talking about yeah, the that's job, what, but that's threw I, me off. I felt like he was talking about he's never been in a fight where he had to make adjustments on the fly the way yeah. the, the way that he had to last night. Yeah. And it was just he he got a he got a, a draw, a learning lesson, yeah. and he comes back in the rematch and he beats uh Kostani. I agree. Also, he can do more things. I, yeah. He's more versatile. He's going to be able to do more things. Yeah. He's more versatile than he showed us last night. It just it didn't click for Most, him last night. My only thing that I'm worried that he doesn't come back and make adjustments. Tony Harrison rematch, he didn't make adjustments. Tony was doing the same thing and yeah. controlling the fight. He just knocked him out. Actually, Tony was more Tony aggressive in that second fight. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think if if Brian had more angles. That's even that's gonna give him. Well, his hand. trainer said that. His trainer said the number one adjustment they want to do in the rematch is not come on yeah. a straight line. Yeah. If he had yeah. angles, Sean, T- Charlo's about to have another long night. Well, listen, if if, if they both come back and improve, then there's we're gonna be a for another hell of a fight. Then yeah. we're in there for another fight. Run it back yeah. ASAP right now. Yeah. They need to run it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like November. My man yeah. said yeah. last night, he said, Does he not understand in order to become disputed? You gotta go through him. Yeah, when he said he he he's not, I don't know if I won't fight him. Well, how you gonna be undisputed? Yeah, maybe he doesn't care. No, he wants it. I, I think he does yeah. too, but I'm saying maybe he doesn't. And also, you gotta go through that man. To in touch, the moment to as touch well. on I, I thought Errol's interview last time was really good. That was probably the most like I didn't loose get to see it. and like uh-huh. energetic uh-huh. I've seen Errol. He's uh-huh. usually more of a laid back. Why? What was he saying? Was, yeah, he was just he would seem like he was in BC good spirits. Gets everybody. Yeah, I think Brian Custer's a great interviewer and he yeah. just seemed like he was loose. He had some laughs up there. It's all about if Errol's comfortable with you. Yeah. yeah. And he and he that's yeah. why I, I enjoyed that. But yeah, to, to what you're saying, I think you run it back. You have to. ASAP. Like, Man, I don't, don't, there's no, no, no there's, don't run nothing else there's back. There's no other fight at 154. Yeah, well, I, I want to see Friday. I heard him say, and I get it. He just had a baby. He said, I'm going to go home, spend some time with my Take family. Take a vacation. I, I can't be mad at that. Yeah. But damn, bro, hey, man, go back and get you got Go get two that weeks, done first. bro. You got two <laughs> weeks. Go get that done. Yeah, I just, there's no other fight. I know there, there's mandatories, and I get it. There's a time when, for mandatories, there's a time when they help boxing and they give people shots that they've earned. And there's a time like where it's like, yeah, but there's also a time where it's just like, hey, well, us, cause not, cause back not, up and yeah, yeah, not let right somebody now. else, like, yeah. not right now. Like this I saw the mandatory see. for the IBF on, he was the last he fight the before undercover. the televised, yeah. uh, uh, back Mur, um, Murtaz Ziliev or yeah, yeah. And the Russian guy, all due respect to him. 
But you know, he he had a rough time in an eight rounder. This guy yeah. and wasn't even has on no TV. chance <laughs> to beat Jamel Charlo. Also, yeah. like, Jamel you know. needs this. In order for him to improve, he needs to get in the ring with this dude again. Yeah. yeah. Before he gets in the ring with anybody else, mm -hmm. right those wrongs, prove some things to himself and, and grow. He can't get in the ring with somebody else and and everything like you 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 worked on adjustments that you should have made against Castaño, but then you're getting in the ring with somebody else. You that's not give you now. a different yeah. look. Get well, they're giving you a different look. And you know, well, and, I, and on top of that, if you get in the ring with somebody else, you knock him out in a couple rounds. And, and what, did, that what did you do? Yeah, yeah. You know, so he well, needs to Andre Ward ASAP was like, "You guys need to run it back." And I thought he was the perfect man to say it because it's kind of similar to him and Kovalev. It was mm -hmm. like close fight. I don't know if you got that. I need to see you guys run it back again. And yeah. Dre does, and, yeah. and and he did what. A lot of people would want to see Charlo do in a yeah, rematch, yeah, you yeah. know. But and yeah. I know Sean, you said you don't like to throw it either. Add an uppercut in there. Yeah, man, I, man, I, there. I said Boom. that last night. Oh, okay, what? I said he didn't throw any uppercuts last night, and I was like, I'm not. I don't really throw uppercuts. I'm not an upper. You know, I'm actually working on it right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. We keep it real. Up. We keep it real up in here. But anyway, or I, is he? I'm not really. I don't. I don't throw the uppercut. But something, it surprised me that he didn't throw any uppercuts because the, the Castaño was a more of a square fighter. Shorter guy. More of a straight straight ahead fighter, yeah. at least last night. And then his his defense was to go here. Yeah. And I just think that you could have probably split the, 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 the guard. The guard. Yeah. Um, but Charlo just didn't really make any adjustments. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All do it again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.